Hi, it's Andy, and today's tutorial is going to be using um, AppCompat's new action bar uh, that was just released in the latest build tools uh, for Android last night. Um, so this is, uh, if you haven't noticed, this is using Android Studio. Uh, it is a pain in the ass to use, and that's why I chose it for this video, because it is a pain in the ass. And uh, I'll show you how to get it working. Um, since Action Bar Sherlock seems to be also a huge pain in the ass to get working on on uh, Android Studio. So hopefully this will uh, be a nice little introduction if you need to get this working. You're going to need to change three things, two of them you would have normally changed anyway uh, to get Action Bar Sherlock to work on uh, Eclipse. So um, those shouldn't be too different. Uh, but the third one is uh, a little bit different, and that's going to be this build gradle, build.gradle file. You need to change the compile to com.android.support appcompat version 7 dash version 7 uh, colon 18.0. plus. You also need to make sure that your compile version SDK is uh, and build tools version is 18 and 18.0.0. .0. Um, that's the biggest change. Uh, that's uh, Android Studio specific change. Uh, I suspect this will be a lot easier to use in Eclipse, but I haven't tried using it yet. Um, what I wanted to try to do is make sure I got it working on Android Studio first. So that's the biggest change. The other two would normally be changed anyway, except you're changing it from uh, Sherlock, act uh, Sherlock activity to now an action bar activity. Um, and it works exactly the same as you would use a, um, an action bar Sherlock activity uh, or Sherlock activity, not action bar Sherlock activity. So you need action bar activity, you need to import android.support.version7.app.actionbar activity. Okay, now that I'm out of breath, let's try the last file you need to change and that's your manifest. You, it still comes up in red, it's not, I don't know, this is why I, I this is the most frustrating part about Android Studios. You make a change and somehow it still compiles and works but it still shows up as an error. You need to do Android theme uh, just like Action Bar Sherlock you need to import theme.appcompat and this one's the light version. Uh, I have it running here in gingerbread see it's gingerbread and uh, my application and it loads up with the light. Um, one thing I do like is that things compile pretty quickly in Android Studio. So let's get that going. And pick the emulator. And you'll show see that it, it is working based off of that one. All right. So this is a quick tutorial. I'm going to try doing the same thing in Eclipse in a little bit and see how difficult and that is to get working over there. But I hope this tutorial is helpful to you. Uh, disregard the little red uh, text you get in the manifest and the spelling error you get in build.gradle. Um, but uh, hope this helps you and uh, 